Hey everyone, it's Kelsey. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm vlogging. I don't really know what this vlog is going to be, but I haven't vlogged in a while, so I kind of just wanted to because I missed it. Okay. Um, today is Thursday, November 5th, I believe. Yes, November 5th. Um, today I have one class in like an hour and I have to do a presentation so I had to get like all dressed like kind of nicely and do my makeup and stuff. Um, not that it really matters but I kind of like to, especially like when I'm presenting and like all the attention is going to be on me, I like to like get dressed up and like put on makeup because otherwise I just feel like, like for me personally that I would just like feel insecure so I got all ready for that. Um, I'm really excited to get this presentation like over with not in a negative way but just because i've been thinking about it all week and i have another one tomorrow um so it'll be nice once those two presentations are done and i don't really have to worry about it anymore and this presentation is for my theories of personality class so it's kind of like just on like different psychological theorists and stuff um and then my one for bio is on world hunger so yeah so that's kind of what I've been working on this week, which is kind of why I haven't read too, too much this week. Um, I started The Girl Who Drank the Moon on audiobook, which I got from my library. Let me check who that's by. It's by Kelly Barnhill. Um, so I believe I started listening to this on Monday and I really haven't listened to any more. I'm about 7% through it. It's really cute and it's really interesting so far. And I actually really like the audiobook narration so far, which I'm happy about because I don't always like the speaker. I kind of listen to it while I put my Halloween decor away in my room. I'll definitely have more time like later today after that presentation, so I'm definitely going to try to read more, especially this weekend because it is National Writing Month, so I do have to do like NaNoWriMo, which I have not written one word for yet, which is kind of disappointing, but also like school has to come first, so school is coming first. Um, yeah, and then I'm also reading If We Were Villains by ML Rio, which is over there, and I'm just too lazy to get up and get it. I'm like 51% through it right now. Um, I don't want to spoil anything, but the story is so interesting. The kind of like murder mystery, um, it's so good. Like, I had heard people talk about how good this book was, but I didn't expect to actually love it as much as I do. Also... James and Oliver are in love and no one can tell me any differently. That is not a spoiler because that is just my personal like reading into the story. Um, I don't know how it ends. I don't know what the the nature of their relationship is. Like as of now they're just friends but I think they're in love. It's super interesting. I love all of the characters and just like the extra added drama of them being like actors and actresses like students like at the school is like so cool because there was like a scene where they did Macbeth um it's just cool it just adds like an extra element of drama so I'm really loving it so far and then I'm also reading A Good Girl's Guide to Murder which I believe is by Holly Jackson um I'm reading that on ebook which I also got from my local library um so I'm reading that like on my kindle on my phone so three different mediums of books right now for reading but you know, we stand a versatile reader. We love it. Um, I kind of like to make sure that I always have like a physical book and an ebook going at least because I tend to read my ebook like in bed like before I fall asleep. Um, and then I just kind of felt like listening to an audiobook this month because I did not listen to any last month and I don't think I listened to any in September. So I think the last time I listened to an audiobook might be might have been August. The good thing about putting my Halloween decorations, I'm trying to find a silver lining to putting them away. Um, it's sad that they're away, but the good thing about them being away is that my room is cleaner. And I had like a whole open shelf because there was a shelf that my houses were on. And now I have a whole open shelf that I can store like my extra mugs and my camera on. So that's off the floor, which is honestly a relief because it was all over my floor and it was messy before. So now that looks way neater. So yeah, I will let you guys know how my presentation goes. I'm a little nervous but I'm also like not that nervous because like Zoom presentations don't seem as bad as in-person presentations but I don't like presenting so 
I'm slightly nervous, but this one shouldn't be too bad because we just are having people take a quiz and then we are literally reading the results like off of a slide and like fun facts, so it really shouldn't be that bad. Um, and I'll feel really good once it's over, which is always what I think about whenever there's something that I'm nervous about doing. I'm like, just think of how good you'll feel once it's over. So that's my little trick for you because I find it works for me. Okay, so today is Sunday, November 8th. I painted my nails, but I'm gonna have to do it again because this nail polish is really thin and just like not the best. But yeah, I have to update my vlog because I kept forgetting to for like the past few days. Yes, I am in my pajamas because it's Sunday and I just feel like Sundays are pajama days. I don't know if that's just a me thing. I lit a nice candle. I know it's not October, but it's fine. So. I got this thrifting. It's a latte mug. It's so pretty. I made a latte in it this morning and it was great. And trying to be careful with my nails here. I got this jacket, which is super cute. It was only like $15. Then I got this shirt, which is like nice and big and it has like a pocket. So it's gonna be like super comfy. I'm making this. The stress, okay. And then I got this nice little sweater so oh and then we went to bath and body works and i got these two christmas candles because they were having a deal it was like two for 20 so i said i have to get some so this one literally smells exactly like a christmas tree which is great because i don't have a real christmas tree i have an artificial one and this one is more like vanilla sweet like marshmallow hot cocoa-y so both sense of Christmas, so we're really living it up over here. Then, on Friday, I don't know, someday this weekend, I finished If We Were Villains. First off, let me just say I gave this book five out of five stars. I gave it all the stars. I have not been this into a book in a long time. It was so good. I read 50% of it on Monday. Didn't read again for the whole week because I was working on my presentations, as you know. Picked it back up on Friday read the rest of it so technically i read it in two days it was so good oh my god the ending i literally like threw the book down and paced around my house for a little bit like walked around my family thought it was crazy they're like what is what are you doing what's going on i was like that ending of the book you don't understand like you just don't get it so good this book first of all dark academia slaps this is like my first dark academia kind of so good. I'm gonna definitely be reading more. Oh my god, it was amazing. This is going on my favorite shelf. I have all of these, like, tabs. Um, yeah, because I loved it. Um, I'm not gonna talk too, too much about, like, the logistics of what I liked, because I'll do that in my wrap-up. It's also, like, I gotta figure out how to do this without spoiling. Essentially, though, this book, they're all at a university, of course, because it's dark academia, so they're all like drama students. There's like seven of them, I believe, six or seven of them. Um, so they're like doing their drama and doing plays throughout. And then, of course, as in most dark academias, someone like dies and there's like a murder mystery going on while the story's going on. So it's so good. It's like the main character, Oliver, is like telling the story in the future, but he's like talking about the past, obviously. So it's so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. James and Oliver? Yes, that's all I'm gonna say because I don't wanna like spoil anything, but it was just great. Um, this book really, first of all, it takes Shakespearean tragedy to a whole new level. Oh my god, it was so good. That's all I just keep saying because it's all I can't say. <laughs> um, basically, this book, it starts off and it's like, okay, look at the subtext, subtext, and you look at the subtext and you're like, okay, so this is what I'm reading into it. Then you take the, it takes the subtext and it goes, you were right. Like, you were correct, the subtext. You're good for you. And you're like, awesome. Gives you hope. Takes the hope away. 
gives you a little bit of hope at the end, but it's hope that you have to like interpret and decide what the ending means for yourself. So it's a trip, it really is. It was an emotional roller coaster, but it was amazing. And I will definitely be rereading like sections, I'm sure at some point and rereading it at some point because it was so good. Um, this is my first kind of dark academia really because I think the Diviners is technically a dark academia and the Raven Boys I guess is so I guess it's not my first but it's really good so definitely pick this up if you haven't because oh my god I loved it um, so we're starting off November strong because this is my first book and it was five stars so I'm still reading The Girl Who Drank the Moon and A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I haven't really read any more in those. I want to start another physical book because I like to have like a book in each medium. Um, and I don't have a set TBR for this month at all, which I'm kind of loving because I haven't been able to just like mood read in a while. So I got to figure out kind of what I'm in the mood for and what I'm going to read next. So next clip I'm sure will be me reading that book. I had one class this morning. It is Monday, November 9th, and I still have to like shower and get dressed, but I wanted to update my vlog so I can get it like edited and uploading while I'm like doing other things. But um, so I started A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab yesterday, which is the second book in the Dark Trade of Magic series. It's just a trilogy, I believe. Um, this is the second book. I read the first book, I think like two years ago, a year or two years ago, um, I want to say. And I pretty much remembered it, so I didn't really feel the need to reread it. But for some reason, I just kind of wanted to pick it up. And when I put series down, I don't tend to go back to them. So I wasn't going to question me wanting to pick it up. So I was like, I'm just going to read this. Um, I'm really enjoying not having a TBR this month because it's a nice break. So this is kind of fun because I can just kind of move read and my goal kind of for this month is to like thin down my physical tbr because it's like a little out of control yeah i'm enjoying it so far i'm like 60 ish pages in um i think it's like 12 percent through it um i'm enjoying it this far so far i read a good amount yesterday oh i also wrote last night for the first time um it's so december 8th so it, december whoa November 8th, so it took me eight days to actually write something for NaNoWriMo, which, you know, at least we got there eventually. Now I'm at like 8,000 and something words, and I'm supposed to be at 15,000 by today, like, to stay on the timeline for 50,000, so I'm gonna write more today, definitely, and try to get back in the habit of writing every day. I just wanted to update the vlog today just so like you knew what I was starting. I kind of want to bring weekly vlogs back so I think I will do another vlog for like this coming week. Okay I'm gonna end the vlog there. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you're having a good day. Give it a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what your November goal is I guess. Um, what books you want to read. If you aren't subscribed be sure to hit that button down below and I will see you guys on Wednesday with another video. Bye.